numbers. Let's bring in senior White House reporter for NBC News, Shannon Pettypisa. Uh, Shannon, what happened? Uh, if, you know, from your perspective, uh, covering this for NBC News Digital, how do you even put into words a press briefing like that? Well, I can't tell you what was exactly going through the president's head when he decided to publicly have this riff. Um, but I can tell you that this is part of a bigger theme and strategy mm. that we have seen from the very beginning of this from the president uh, to try and give an overly rosy picture of what is going on. Uh, he also said yesterday that a vaccine was coming very soon. Uh, the day before, he talked about Fourth of July having a big crowd um, on the National Mall. Uh, you know, John pointed out that early on Monday he was saying there'd be 50,000 deaths and. Now we're already at that number, and he was suggesting that could be the total. So why does he keep giving an overly rosy view? And I am told that there's a broader political strategy here, that his political advisors and Republican strategists feel that the election will be decided by how people feel things are going not necessarily where we are at, but how things are going. So if there is a perception that there's some cure in the works, uh, that things are going to get better, maybe they don't have a job, but they'll have a job soon. Maybe there's not a cure now, but, but the, you know, the government's looking into something. Maybe it's light. Maybe it's disinfectant. The president can't talk about hydroxychloroquine anymore because we've seen some real data out there that raises questions. So it seems like he's reaching for something to help continue this perception that things are getting better, that there is hope. Um, but, you know, really all of that coming, as you pointed out, a a week where we have now 50,000 people dead. And instead of trying to lead the country in some sort of national mourning, um, you know, uh, trying to comfort people who are scared, um, who have lost a loved one, um, he continues the strategy of trying to make people think things are better than they actually are in hopes that that will help his poll numbers and that will eventually help his reelection in November. Seems to be the strategy based on what I'm hearing from his advisors. Shannon at the White House, thank you so much. We greatly appreciate it. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.